So how are electric scooters impacting Florida? Well, in a legal sense, a, an electric scooter, you know, remember this, if you're on a scooter and you get hit by a car and it's their fault, one, you, you don't have any more protection than a pedestrian walking across the road. I mean, you're gonna likely sustain some serious injuries. And yes, you will still have a claim against that vehicle. Um, on a more practical sense, and I don't speak for all citizens in the state of Florida by any means, but I see a growing trend on a local level, whether it's a city, the county, or a municipality, banning these scooters for personal safety reasons, because these scooters tend to share the roadways and the sidewalks with drivers and pedestrians, and there can be so many of them and they don't have necessarily the same control and reaction as other drivers and pedestrians and it just you know it causes chaos so you sit you, you in my experience there are a lot fewer scooters than there were two years ago and you see that trend popping up around the state of florida where there's far fewer locales where people can operate these scooters so you know again on a legal sense if you're a scooter look at it this way it's the same thing as if you're a pedestrian, meaning that if you get hit by a car, you still have a claim against the car that hits you. At the same time, if you're on a scooter and you hit someone else, you don't have insurance that's gonna protect you. And if you cause the crash, you're gonna be on the hook. So keep that in mind. If you have questions about your situation, call us at 1-800-TRIAL-PRO or chat with us live at trialpro.com.